How you doing? Happy Eastern. Hey, you have a lovely town. I love your city. I love your city, yes. It has some nice uh, 19th century uh, buildings. Probably what, uh, 1870s? We'll see you later. I am in Bedford, Bedford. It's named after Charles Bedford, an admiral in the English Navy, also a member of parliament. The city was, uh, this city was originally uh, founded in 1873 and it was incorporated in uh, 18, I mean 1984 and it's a typical example of how the English is affecting us right here in the United States The name of the city is not named after an uh, American hero. It's not named after a fallen soldier. No, it's named after a, uh, a politician from England. And they have forgotten that we fought a war of independence for a reason. A lot of people die to see this country uh, free from the English. And now we're back in English hands. They control the, uh, uh, the uh, information, like Fox News and CNN and so on. And then they claim they, uh, the Russians are interfering with our politics, with our country. And no, the Russians are not. Uh, the English, the one that owns the uh, information. The Russians have no information abilities in the United States. This is a beautiful city. It's a, it's a combination of uh, old buildings and new build new uh, architecture. Example is this building. This building is uh, a uh, Art Deco style. You can tell that it's uh, built, it, uh, built in the 1930s by the style, Art Deco style. And it is the, uh, the, the city uh, post office or the town post office. And it is, uh, is uh, United States post office. Beresford, South Dakota. Oh, it's a plaque out here. Let me go and read the plaque. James A. Farley, Postmaster General. John M. Carmondi, Federal Works Administrations. W. Engelbert Reynolds, Commissioner of Public Buildings. Louis A. Simon, Supervising the Architect. Neil A. Melick, Supervising the Engineering, 1939. So you have 1939, and then you have a, um, a satellite ditch, very modern. That building is probably about the same time. Built about the same time, so sort of that one. But I believe that building stuck out there in the center. It's more like 1860s, 1865, by the style of the building. Let's walk up there. Well, the same is that one there, the law office.
those are the type of building they were building the uh, Victoria era late 1800s and of course it's a city hall notice the uh, the structure the Romanesque structure or the Greek structure with a post And they also they will replicate the same on the top. So that those angles are replicated on top of the building. I should have stayed back farther. This building right here, as you see, they uh, they modify it. Let me get some panoramic so you can they modify the building but on the top end you can see the old structure the old 1800 uh, late 1800 ornaments so this building have been uh, remodeled yeah you can tell they have been remodeled the same as this one This is a completely modern structure. But this one is not. This one you can tell there is an original Romanesque with the uh, terracotta. Let's see if I can get closer. A terracotta uh, ornament baked into the, uh, the brick. Check that out. It's a beautiful uh, brick work. And this is uh, normal for uh, before 1900. And apparently this is Freiburg, Freiburg Nelson and ASKLLP offices. I have no idea who they are, but they sure do have a nice building. This is typical in uh, in the United States where they have uh, empty buildings full of uh, stuff. And uh, on the inside, they are beautiful actually. If somebody has the time and money to advance this building check out the uh, the roof of the building is uh made out of uh metal tiles that's a uh, 1920s anywhere from 1900 to 1920s that was the style back then of architecture the same is in the floor I think, I don't know if you can see through, but that is like a, like a grocery store, a library and everything at the same time. They even sell rocks in there. Let me see if I can fix it where you can see closer to it. Let's see, maybe I can get through the glass. Check that out. Very well placed. Everything is nice place. It has soap, candles, and it's a very deep building. Way back there. This is a more modern construction there. You can see the difference in between the uh, the type of construction.
Well, I hope you enjoyed and uh, come and visit uh, Beresford. It used to be Paris, the Paris of South Dakota. See you later. Saludos.